Now, if you know why you're here and you just want to jump to the solution, here's a timestamp. Skip ahead. You're welcome. Hey, so we just got our brand new rogue ally and like a lot of you, I'm sure there was a lot of hype around this and you're excited to finally have this in hand. Now that said, the rumors are true. There is a lot of weirdness. And unlike the Steam Deck, which is a very similar product to this, in contrast, the Steam Deck takes a very Apple-like approach, making both the hardware and software for a really well-integrated experience. Asus has tried that with some software overlays and some of their programming. It works to an extent, and we'll talk about that in a future video. But in this one, let's just get right into it. The question and problem that have probably led you to this video, first setting this up, you're probably encountering something really frustrating. Now here's the problem. Windows 11 now requires you to connect to your Wi-Fi network before you can continue with the setup process. Now perhaps using certain settings, tools, or boot disks, you can bypass this, but for the most part, for most users, you're gonna have to log in to your Wi-Fi network. Now you're clicking on your Wi-Fi network, you're trying to put in your password. Where's the keyboard? There's no virtual keyboard. The problem is, and especially if you don't want to use a mouse, and a keyboard, either you don't have one on hand or you're like, hey, I bought this as a handheld device. I shouldn't need to connect to my peripherals first. What do I do? The solution is easier than it sounds, but it unfortunately will require you to go back to the previous step if you're already on Wi-Fi setup. So you probably don't see a back button right now, but unfortunately it means you need to hard reset the device. So what you're actually going to need to do is hold on your power button until the system completely turns off going to turn it back on and that's going to restart the entire setup process. Now here's the important part which a lot of you including myself missed because it's not obvious, it's not intuitive, you think you've already done it. During the input selection this is where you actually need to set two keyboards. The first one as your main language English and then you're basically doing the same thing as your secondary input too. For whatever reason again it doesn't make it obvious but the secondary one is what's going to allow you to use the virtual keyboard. So it doesn't matter what language you choose, you're still gonna choose a secondary input as your English or whatever it is. And then when you go to the next step, thank goodness, we're now able to enter our password. Now, my gut says ASUS has had enough time both in development as well as enough time receiving feedback from the initial review units that they've sent out to know that this is not an intuitive process. Because let's be honest, whatever excuse of a stand this is that's included in the box, I would have rather had documentation explaining what I need to do so I didn't have to waste that time. Because that's a bad, bad first impression to have on a device this expensive. So let me know in the comments down below if that helped you out or if you have any other problems. If you have any questions about this, whether you're considering this or you just want to kind of learn a little bit more about this, I'm going to be doing some more in-depth reviews, maybe even some comparisons in the future. So stay tuned for that. So thanks again for checking out this video and until the next one, I'll catch you later.